The most historically significant man of the 20th century in New Mexico was the archaeologist Edgar Lee Hewitt. Born in 1865, Hewitt would fall in love with the West, especially the archaeological ruins of the land of enchantment. His wife, Cora Whitford, suffered from tuberculosis, so he brought her to Sunmount Sanatorium in Santa Fe to convalesce. She later died from the disease, but Hewitt decided to stay in New Mexico and eventually remarried. In 1898, Hewitt accepted a position as the head of the Normal University in Las Vegas, New Mexico. Three of Hewitt's major accomplishments in the state still resonate today. In 1906, he spearheaded the American Antiquities Act. In 1907, he established the School of American Archaeology. And in 1909, Hewitt founded the Museum of New Mexico. In addition to these major accomplishments, he mentored some of the most important men of that era, who in turn added to the vitality of the state of New Mexico as we know it today. The American Antiquities Act of 1906 was a monumental achievement for preservation. The act allowed for the protection of archeological sites and other sites of significance. It also allowed the President of the United States to set aside national monuments. By the end of his term, President Theodore Roosevelt would set aside eight national monuments, including Devil's Tower in Wyoming, El Moro and the Gila Cliff Dwellings in New Mexico, and the Petrified Forest in Arizona. A portion of Hewitt's beloved Pajarito Plateau would become Bandelier National Monument in 1916. In 1907, Hewitt became the director of the School of American Archaeology, later called the School of American Research. SAR worked to protect prehistoric archaeological sites throughout the West by acquiring individual ruins. Through this effort, the school was able to acquire the Pecos Pueblo. Hewitt would continue his work as an archaeologist throughout the Southwest eventually establishing the departments of archaeology and anthropology for the University of New Mexico in Albuquerque. In 1909, Edgar Hewitt founded the Museum of New Mexico. The state-funded entity allowed Hewitt to attract well-known artists from New York who eventually moved to Santa Fe. In addition to showcasing their work in exhibitions, Hewitt provided them with jobs within the museum departments. Today, Santa Fe is considered one of the major art markets in the United States and is well known throughout the world. Hewitt's early work with the artists at the turn of the 20th century is credited with putting Santa Fe on the map in the world of art. Throughout his career, Edgar Hewitt established a strong rapport with the Native American community. While on an archaeological dig, he discovered the black-on-black -black pottery from the Neolithic era in the Southwest. Hewitt approached the potterer, Maria Martinez of San Ildefonso Pueblo, to recreate the ancient technique of this type of pottery. Maria Martinez became world-renowned for the black pottery that has become synonymous with the people of the Pueblos of Northern New Mexico. Hewitt is seen here in this 1921 photo in a white suit with native dancers at the Fiesta de Santa Fe. The Portuguese artist Carlos Vieira came to Santa Fe suffering from tuberculosis. After he recovered at Sunmount Sanatorium, he opened an art studio on the plaza in 1904. A prolific artist and photographer, 
He collaborated with Edgar Hewitt and the School of American Archaeology in the restoration of the Palace of the Governors in 1909. That was the beginning of his role in advocating for the Pueblo revival style of architecture that has become synonymous with Santa Fe's unique landscape. Sylvanus Morley began his lifelong adventures in Santa Fe in 1907 as a young archaeologist where he worked for the School of American Archaeology under the tutelage of Edgar Hewitt. Following those early years, he set out to explore the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, where he helped to restore the ceremonial Mayan center known as Chichen Itza. Morley is credited as being one of the explorers who helped rediscover that national heritage site in Mexico. Sylvanus Morley's colorful life is believed to have been the inspiration for the fictional archaeologist Indiana Jones, which was created by the movie producers George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. Jesse Nussbaum was born in Greeley, Colorado in 1887. He came to New Mexico in 1907 as the youngest professor at the New Mexico Normal School in Las Vegas. Nussbaum became the first archaeologist employed by the National Park Service in New Mexico. In 1909, he was hired by Edgar Hewitt at the School of American Archaeology and at the Museum of New Mexico. In 1917, he oversaw the construction of Santa Fe's Fine Arts Museum. Nussbaum also helped build the Laboratory of Anthropology, becoming its first director. He died in Santa Fe in 1975. His mentor, Edgar Lee Hewitt, died in Albuquerque in 1946.